Well, welcome back to Up On The Wheel with Jimmy Murfton and Michael Caruso. <laughs> oh, referring to yourself. <laughs> I like it. Final Up On The Wheel for 2014, folks. It's a sad day, I know, but uh, unfortunately the season is drawing to a close and we are Sydney Olympic Park, streets of Homebush. Hometown hero this weekend, aren't you? Yeah, Michael looking Caruso. forward to get the family and friends out here, and you can see that the track is still being built as we uh, as we do this. And you know, in 12 hours' time, we'll actually be on the circuit. So a little bit of work to be done, but um, we'll try to give you uh, a really good insight on how we'll get around here this weekend. So it just looks like uh, there may have been some resurfacing um, to the track into turn one here, which is always a, a fantastic passing opportunity around here, but uh, an important corner to get the exit right as well, because uh, you've got to use all the road, but quite tricky to put the power down because it's off camber. So um, car can get quite loose in the back, but then uh, obviously leads onto another straight and heavy braking zone into turn two and three. Which uh, we're going to have to go around the outside of the street sweeper, maybe? Oh, you we'll make it? I don't think you're going to make all it. Right. No. <laughs> We're not going to make it. <laughs> We're going to have to pull him behind. We're going to have to pull him behind. But it's a corner where you're doing, I think, roughly around 60k an hour, second gear, and you're absolutely mounting these curbs to set yourself up and basically get through here as straight as you possibly can, uh, which is a difficult task. And it's those little red and white things, those curbs that will probably be the talk of of the weekend, it's all about how well your car can get over those curbs and settle um, on the landing and then difficult power down section here because you're still turning and driving at the same time. So uh, very hard on the right rear tyre especially, but um, then we come up into probably the quickest corner on the track, turn five. Um, and this is the scene of, of course, 2010 when the rain came down and all the championship contenders piled into one another. Um, into the fence, so uh, yeah, very fast corner in the dry, uh, very narrow as you can see, and you've got to got to get it right because uh, there's a lot of time to be made up here. What about this section of the track, Michael? Sort of called the bus stop um, for obvious reasons. I think a bus in normal everyday traffic <laughs> stops here, but uh, another sort of little quick chicane and having the car. Be nice and settled off the curbs is, is crucial here, isn't it? It's uh, it's difficult to get right, and particularly if you get it wrong, it leaves you very vulnerable leading into the next corner because it's a great passing opportunity. So if you've got a car that works well uh, off that section, um, not only uh, you know the cars behind don't uh, get a good run on you, but it obviously gives you an opportunity to pass into what is a very difficult track to park. Yeah, and tricky corner this one, especially under braking because you have a surface change, so uh, the rear of the car gets unsettled quite easily here and then uh, you know we see a number of different lines over the years through this turn 8 with uh, some guys choosing to use just a little bit of kerb or a lot of kerb and then some guys stay completely off it so um, this is one area of the track over the weekend that can sometimes break up, um, certainly has in the past and if that happens then uh, you have to be super careful not to get caught out on that and uh, end your day in the tyres on the exit. And on to the back straight, this is probably really apart from uh, a little bit of a rest out of turn one, your first real opportunity in the lap to have a bit of a think about what's going on. Um, not super quick down here, only uh, fifth gear, but coming into a very, very tricky braking area, which uh, a little bit like a, a motorcycle or motocross whoop section, just uh, very undulating and the car uh, very easy to lock the rear brakes into here, but then uh, late in the stop, easy to, to lock the front. So um, there's always plenty going on under brakes in, into turn nine. Again, you'll use a bit of curb through this section and uh, try to get your car as far to the left as you possibly can to get a great run through here, which is uh, very difficult because uh, you're obviously a bit blind as you come around the corner and want to get it up on the wall as you exit, uh, you know, to finish off that lap as, as best as you can. Again, we're coming into this section of the track now, last few corners, 
very, very crucial. Easy to get up on two wheels off that curb. And um, that's a little bit daunting because it sends you so close to the wall on this side that it doesn't give you a chance to actually get back for the second last corner. No, even though they're you know, short, sharp, 90 degree corners, um, it's a section of the track that can almost really make or break your lap. You can, um, if your car's not working well through these little 90 degree corners, it can really hurt your lap time. And here is one of the more important corners on the track. Uh, last corner. Right, Oscar. We've got an incoming phone call. The Bluetooth <laughs> is working absolutely perfectly in the Murano. Um, so that just shows how things are going for us on the final episode of Up on the Wheel. <laughs> Why don't you take the call? I think you should take the call. No, it's all right, mate. <laughs> Hopefully, that's having the last. It might have been beautiful, last... Danny, calling you. It hey? might have been. <laughs>